Epic Games ruined OG Fortnite. Now you're probably wondering how this is possible since they just brought back the Chapter 1 Island in November 2023. Well, even with bringing the Chapter 1 Island back, they still managed to ruin OG Fortnite for a lot of people. I'm going to be explaining everything today, so if you enjoy this video or learn something new, then please subscribe. So there is something called Fortnite emulators. These emulators use old files from Chapter 1 Fortnite to bring back the older seasons. These range from Chapter 1 Season 1 all the way to Chapter 2 Season 4. Now there are a lot of Fortnite emulators out there and all of them are pretty similar. Even though there are a lot of Fortnite emulators, we're mainly going to be focusing on Project Era today. Now to understand what Project Era is, I'll briefly explain it for you. In February 2021, Project Era released their first ever single player mode. Multiplayer wasn't even a thought at that point as they didn't think it was possible. Later that year, they finally figured it out and started to playtest Project Era. Fast forward to 2023 and Era was finally able to host OG Fortnite to everyone. They started in Season 2 and went up all the way to Season 8 before being shut down. So why does any of this matter? I mean, why care about a fake Fortnite? Well, let me put this in perspective for you. It's a rainy Saturday in 2018, you have absolutely no plans for the whole day, and a new Fortnite season just came out. You could just squad up with your friends and just have an amazing time. You see, this is what these Fortnite emulators brought back for a lot of people. So why exactly did Era get shut down? Well, you see, Project Era and every other project technically broke Epic Games EULA. You see, at first they allowed Fortnite projects with a few ground rules. First, they could not profit off these projects, and I'll talk more about that in a second. And second, they are not allowed to use cosmetics or rebooks from the game. These are the main reasons Epic shut down Era. Now since Era made it to where people could donate to them to help run servers, this violated Epic Games EULA. Now this was a crucial part of Era since servers cost a lot of money. Now from my knowledge, Project Era tried negotiating with Epic Games, but that resulted in them setting a cease and desist, making them shut down their servers forever. Yeah, pretty sad, right? I mean, what is Epic Games gaining by shutting down these projects? Well, it's obvious that their goal is to make more money, but shutting down these projects will barely benefit them in the slightest. Now, one would argue that error breaking Epic's EULA rules gives them the right to shut it down, and I agree with that, but just because you have the ability to do something doesn't necessarily mean you should. Epic didn't have to shut down Era, that's something they chose to do. And after this, a lot of people are saying that Epic doesn't care about the community because they shut down Project Era. But think about it, the people that played Era or the other projects are not actually a part of the Epic Games community. If they were, then they would be playing current Fortnite right now instead of Era. And although they didn't necessarily have to shut down Project Era, it doesn't matter to them because they don't care about the Era community, they care about their own. So do I think that shutting down Era was the wrong decision? Yes, but at the same time, we have to go into this looking through their perspective. After Era shut down, you're probably wondering where they are today. Well, not even a day after they shut down, they announced that they are moving to Yui at Fen to make creative maps. Now, we've seen Chapter 1 creative maps before with Reboot Royale and Atlas OG Battle Royale, but those both failed. So I beg to ask the question, will Era have the same fate? Currently, at the time of this recording, Era is doing Season 3 Playground mode, which is a little different than we've seen before. But not even a week after they launched, they already ran into their first problem. A new creative map called Yap Maps OG Battle Royale has released. And let's just say, this stole a lot of the attention from Era. But why? I mean, what's really the difference between the two maps, and why is one more popular? Well, I might have a little idea of why this is. When Era first released their maps, they had zero hype and zero promotion, and no one knew it was coming. On the other hand, when Yap Maps created their map, they had a lot of hype, because they'd been promoting their map for months. And that's why I think at this time, Yap Maps is more popular, so it's not really Era's fault. So now that you know what Era is, where they are now, and why they got shut down, let's move away from them and move towards Epic Games. So now that Fortnite emulators are out of the picture, what can Epic Games do to fix their game? Well, most of you would say that they need to bring back the chapter on Fortnite permanently, and although that would be good for the game, I don't think that's the right decision. I think what the game truly needs is a simpler game. We need a pretty basic map, pretty basic guns, and a good basic battle pass. And I'm not talking about having some random boring POIs, I'm talking about having locations like Retail Row, Tilted Towers, The Agency, we just need simpler stuff to make Fortnite better. As of right now, the game is so complex that it makes it a lot less fun. To change that, we should combine parts of different chapters together. We should have mantling, sprinting, sliding, a good simple map, fun items, simple but good balanced guns, a battle pass with original skins, Actual good love events, new updates every few weeks to keep the game fresh, simpler art style and graphics, and finally a good storyline that doesn't always end in a war. This would not only fix the problem the game currently already has, but it would also increase player counts to a higher point than has ever been before. Now will they do this? Probably not, but it's still something to think about. 
but we gotta hope that Fortnite does do something like this in the following chapters. And if they don't, then Battle Royale might have its own downfall. And unfortunately, this is very possible because of LEGO Fortnite, Rocket Racing, and Fortnite Festival. It seems like Epic Games is moving away from Battle Royale, even though that's their main mode. So this could cause them to have the ultimate downfall. We still have two seasons in Chapter 5, and then four more seasons in Chapter 6. But after that, I'm kind of scared what Fortnite could become if Battle Royale isn't the main game. I can say for certain though, Fortnite will never be the same. So you've probably heard that Chapter 2 is coming back in November this year, and that's great, but it could be the end of Battle Royale. If players don't stick around to Chapter 6, then what's going to be left? And even though Chapter 2 is far away, when Chapter 6 comes, at least just give it a try. Because you, yes, you, could save Fortnite. Thank you all for watching, I really hope you liked the video and learned something new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.